We are back at the Minthara fight. This time we're going to knock her out. This is really unimportant in an unmodded game. The mod that we are using will be put in the description below, but now we will proceed as normal. Welcome back to Tran wins Baldur's Gate 3. It has been a long time, and I was kind of hoping that there would be a patch eventually. If I didn't update the game, I was having trouble getting the Minthara mod to work. And if I did update the game, I was having trouble getting the saves to work, which is kind of a bigger issue. Wait, these markings, Tirsu script scratched in the ground. As I expected, a crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. How do I know I can trust your people? You don't have to trust them, only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. I'll lead us there at my own time. We need to stay close if we're to survive. Chuck. Very well. But promise me we will return before our chance is lost, else I make my way there alone. I can't promise anything, Lizelle. Then I'll go there alone. If you want any hope of being rid of that infection, I suggest that you join me. Realistically, I just wanted to tell her to wait here, but that works too. So you've seen reason. Truth be told, I'm... Never mind. Come with me, and let us be purified. You were going to say something. Go on, tell me. No. Tell me what you wanted to say, or maybe you'd rather go it alone. I'm glad you came back, all right? Now let's move before this discussion turns maudlin. <laughs> all right, let's find this crash, shall we? I, well, <sighs> come then, every moment counts. We realistically only had three options. One was join my party, two was wait here, and three was leave. Uh, we had to pick the number one, which Shadowheart doesn't like it whenever you're nice to Lazel. So this looks like it might be a larger area, but realistically, the separate paths lead to a little pack of undead guarding the shadow lands or whatever it's called, and the other path leads to the Githyanki, which we will be doing. It's essentially a side quest. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? That mm, might have been more helpful if the camera pivoted to that, but sure. It looks like a temple. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards, but stupid, chucky. Your charming companion would call it a creche, but it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy one of their children. What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches, Raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. 
I'm sure your friend would agree. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Well, a gnome can fly if you tie him to a windmill, but some things are in our blood. Only a fool would deny that. Exactly. I knew you were a learned soul from the moment I set eyes on you. Perhaps you could help me then. I may not be welcome there, but surely a person with your charm and worldliness could get into the creche. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Fine, but I want payment. Up front. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. What? Surrender an egg and I will not stand for it. Very well. Here's the money. Now, I expect a speedy delivery. We get 439 bucks for this. We convince Lady Esther to pay us up front to steal a Githyanki egg. I trust that an early payment has ensured swift action. What news of the Githyanki egg? Calling it our project seems like a bit of a stretch. Now, now, no need to get out of humor. Manners are everything. So, where's the egg? First, we're going to trade. In the current version of the game, if you're doing the dialogue option to trade, such as picking the, the, the verbal saying that you want to trade, may prevent you from saving. So I will try to pick this button over here instead, which should ease things up. We're going to go and buy up their unique artifacts. Actually, here. We just... I'm not... There. Done. I'm working on it. Well, I would advise you work on it in the actual crash. Dawdling here helps no one. So we did get a couple interesting items. This could very well go to Asterian. It's clothing, not armor, so it doesn't actually give us any improvement. However, it does give us Cat's Grace, which will effectively give us advantage on all dexterity rolls. Additionally, it increases our dexterity by one. It is an interesting aspect of further leveraging Asteria's dexterous ways. This is pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and give that and the pick to Lazel and let her play with them for a second. And the rest, I think we can just leave alone for now. Oh, we're encumbered. All right. I'm not really surprised. Oh, this is Lazel's backpack. everything back oh this also means i've got to reassign this stuff down here elixir healing potion scroll poison speed and i think that was it let's go ahead and drink our elixirs at this time critical hit for tran Strength for the Warriors, Arcane Cultivation for the Cleric and Wizard, Blood Bloodlust for the Thief, True Seeing for the Bard. Oh, and as for the weapon we assigned her, so we we gave her some things just to play with. Go and slap these down here. Is there anything else? We'll start with this. As a as a weapon, it's lacking, but it has thunderous smite on it. So let's compare the expected damage the game says. With this thunderous smite, the game thinks Lazel will do 10 to 30 damage. If I were just using the, the Githyanki sword, the game expects me to do 11 to 26. So I do a little bit more damage, and it's only one good hit. 
really. The thunderous strike, or a smite, which will be for one attack. But, you know, we buy all these toys, let's play with them. My long, yeah, my long strider's still in effect. Let's move her up, back up there. If you aren't able to pull this wheel, you'll have to climb down this ledge, hop across the, the broken bridge, and walk all the way around. This, this is not a backdrop. That's actually somewhere we can go. An efficient path. Like this, this is also somewhere we can go. Now this is backdrop. So I would like to see more of that. Try to fit everybody on and then spin the wheel. No, no. Down. That was like four clicks to do that. Should mind my step. Alright. Waypoint is discovered, so we'll just warp Asterion to the crowd. There is a set of vines that you can use to climb into the building. Now, before you feel sorry for them, these guys are absolute cultists. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Enough to conceive. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Why were you so desperate to run? Scared. Hurt. Bad things. A Yankee. Torture. What do you know about this weapon? Nothing. Was telling the truth. Didn't know anything. What were you doing here? Path to Moonrise Towers. Absolute answering the call. What is happening at Moonrise Towers? Gathering, coalescing, preparing. Preparing? Preparing for what? Orders from the general. What general? Chosen of the absolute. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Did the game just give me a sixth question there, or did I miscount? I know I noticed that one was a little unusual in the dialogue tree. All right, this door itself is locked. It's got the enchanted security 
<laughs> which means that I cannot cast the knock spell on it, I suppose. Also can't lock pick it. We will have to break in. There's several different directions we can go to from here. So the Githyanki aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Undead crushed underfoot. The Dawn Lord certainly knows how to make space for new life. We can jump down here and there'll be a door. Because we took the gondola, we missed an NPC. I want to go back and talk to them. If you had gone down the cliffside and across the broken bridge, you'd run into this bird that you would probably realistically ignore. There is a key which does lead to the... My. Easy. I better be careful this to trigger that thing. For blood. There, this key does lead to the door that is beneath the statue we were just looking at. Let's go and grab that. And then we'll go and talk to this blue jay. Do I have... I assume I have animal speak on. Oh, I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. I'm not here to take. I'm looking for a Githyanki crush. Have you seen one? Do I look like a bloody tour guide? All I know is the roof, the best nest spot, and the whole chi on far. I got there first, too, before the thieves showed up. I can't help but notice you have a nest right there. Oh, sure, a nest. But it's not my nest. That's up on the roof with the eagles. Eagles are pricks. Wait, so if that's not your nest, whose is it? Ah, some poor little tit who wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so the eagles are pricks for stealing a nest, but you're not. Exactly right. Not all humans can grasp bird ethics. You should be proud. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. Try and figure out what those lizards might be. Still a lot of clicks to do it. Alcoholic lizards didn't show up much in your studies of the natural world. Do you want me to go and deal with the eagles for you? <laughs> you? Kill an eagle? <laughs> but if you think you can, then please, please kill the eagles. They're the worst. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on the roof. Rude bastards, those eagles. Deserve a little comeuppance. Gale climbed up, then Gale climbed down. You know, I was going to say, I was going to spare these guys, actually, because later on, you can find another Grishyanka, or whatever these things are called. And I was thinking about seeing if bringing that one to this group would change anything in the game. I, I don't think the game is that detailed in this. All right, so we need to figure out how we're going to, to do this. Realistically, going in there and fighting them, it's not a problem, it's just takes a while. I was wondering why that one had like extra hit points. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we'll just start nicking them. Generally, throwing requires a large overhead to be able to do, so we'll just have to shoot crossbows inside. 
we had an 80% there? No. Switch back to this so that way she can stab one if it tries to run past her. Now for the ultimate. This should pretty much keep the... Oh, that's, that should be plenty. Yeah, I, I think I just barely missed myself there. This should pretty much keep them from reaching me. And their magic allergies will keep going off the entire time they're in that cloud. We're gonna just intern for now, and if I need to do something, we will. What these things have is called Magic Allergy, and that, well, th that one is affected different. Let's, let's pick another one. Magic Allergy. Allergic to magic, if a spell or cantrip is cast close to the Grim Mishaka, it may react to the magic and trigger a random effect. So yeah, there's, I think, nine of these guys, and it takes a while. So this is where I, in my rehearsal for this, we just went ahead and hungered or hadard. Sometimes the only way out is through. I tried to pick two different targets. But for all I know, I picked the same one each time. Maybe no one made it out. Time to strike. Guess we'll take some more pot shots if any of them are visible. Blender. <laughs> Just club that cat upside the head. All right, uh, I let's go and dispel Hadar, dispel Cloud, and we can hop in then this way. So that's that the crying cat sound is, is supposed crying. It's supposed or the crying baby sound is supposed to be these cats, but all the cats are dead at this point. Here are some books that are locked up that tell you a little bit about this place. I'm not terribly worried about learning the lore behind this giant rubble. This would lead to the other side of the cats. This would lead to the roof. We'll explore that in a minute. Down there will lead to the front door area. Here is a puzzle region. We'll check that out in a little bit here. We're not quite prepared for that. If you look really carefully, you can see what I would presume to be Githyanki bracers on it. I'm checking the skeletons because I didn't write down exactly where all the the key items for this next puzzle are. I know where one of them is. This you can smash down. We're going to hold off on that. Old maintenance records. Let's take a look at this. 
When oiling the machine, make sure you don't grease the statues themselves. Stones become loose of late and has a tendency to slip. Novice Perrin was rumored to have triggered a full spin once. This will come in handy much, much later in this region. This will also lead to the front door. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and head on to the roof. Our characters will kind of stand up here, and as long as they don't actually walk into the nest, it shouldn't aggro the bird, but they'll have to sort of split up because I've got so many characters. It looks like Asterion is in the conversation for this one because he stepped forward. The giant eagle regards you with disdain. Leave. The conversation happened immediately after because our party dispersed right there. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind mommy! I'm just interested in the big device. I promise not to meddle with the nest. Uh, fine. Xavier! Xavier! Don't talk to it! It might have germs. Alright, is everybody up here now? You'll like, no. Let's take a look at our mini-map. Wow, there's Shadowheart and Gale still not here. All right, give me a second to bring them over. I will show you how to do this peaceably. What we want is this ceremonial Warhammer. However, you don't actually need this specific one. You can use any Warhammer. Bear in mind that these twisting vines can trap you and the eagles seem not to care too much if you do torch the vines. Careful. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> the other, so, so this eagle is already facing to the left. Make this eagle face to the right. You can pass, but you're not to talk to me. Gross. And that's it. Then you can, can I go? sneak in. Don't just run up and grab it. Sneak in and you can pick up the Warhammer. Searching the Cobalt, as with most containers, will alert people because of sound. I haven't actually looked at this, though. In my rehearsal, that wasn't really anything important. So yeah, clicking on this doesn't seem to do anything with my characters right now. If she is alerted, or, or becomes hostile, I mean, she will spend her first turn crying out for help, and then the second turn... Finishing her cry for help, and then something like eight more eagles will land around you to fight, giving you both experience and reagents. To keep things simple, we're just going to go ahead and... Hi. for the ages. All right, let's... Lazel, you're not, it's not your move, is it? No, not until later. Okay. The mama bird won't actually do any attacking this turn. I think... Is that... Is that... Uh, I think that thing's actually blocking me from throwing at him. How about this? Can I throw a knife? No, I can't throw a knife. Okay. All right, we're just shooting then. Either something's going on, such as all the mods I've installed are is keeping me from throwing, which is doubtful, or she can't throw because she that eagle's underneath the gun. Wow, 33! Jeez, Gail! Bye, Will. That's actually kind of funny. I like that. Now, obviously, I should have pos positioned my characters around it to take full advantage of the fact they were not hostile. But I, I you know, I, w I figured that would not make as fun of a video for fighting. And I'm, I was right. This is, that was way better.
Victory awaits. Shadowheart. Absolute power. We're going to do this on this one just so I can switch weapons. So that was the um what's what the the drawer ragsland that was his hammer. We'll switch to the rapier later. I would like her to call for help. That's that's actually why we're stalling for time here. Let's move Asterion away from the edge. I remember that I am using the immersive AI mod, so the AI will try to take precedence over knocking me off edges. We'll try moving Gale a little bit away. A rough tempest I will raise. No, it's, he's not able to at this time. Herlac can't move you yet. All right, we'll go in thunderous smite using the staff. Can I topple you? I'm surprised it works, but sure. I mean, I, it makes sense to a degree. Ready. Trans just missing like normal. She had a. I, gave, I deliberately gave her every opportunity to call for help. I walked up to her instead of sneaking attack, surrounding, all that stuff, but whatever. All right, we just want the ceremonial warhammer. Hi, bird. Glorious feathers, bloody everywhere, mate. <sighs> Feels good to be home in my nest. Who said it's your nest? I killed the eagles. It's mine. Why do you want it? You lot don't even lay eggs. <laughs> Let me have it. I'll make it worth your while. I'm expecting a powerful artifact. I'm sorry. I'm just a bird. I don't have things to give you. Although, when I escaped the eagles, I spotted something buried near that ferry dock. Might be worth a look. Oh, and another one of the mods is the alt toggle mod. So I'm not holding alt now. I just had to tap it once and it'll keep these things displayed until the next time I press alt. Everyone gather around. That includes you, Will. So, yeah, I think I think I remember where all the, the gods ceremonial weapons are. If you find rusty weapons or reach into your storage pile of junk, you might find other alternatives. Painted chest. Holy Lance Helm. Smite the Graceless. Creatures who miss their attack rolls against the wearer must make a dexterity saving throw or take 1 to 4 radiant damage. Hmm. I kind of like that. Let's see about ways we can utilize that. So now we need to jump further down. Arskel Stockhold, Dawnmaster, from Death, Life. Master of his craft. Beloved Dawn Master Stockhold, buried with a ceremonial mace. It's a rusty mace. Statues are never a good sign. All right, let's work our way back up because we're not done with the the upstairs region. I did want to dig up that coffin, however. Here's a ceremonial battle axe. If you try searching, a guardian of faith spell. 
and a remarkably long-lasting one at that. If you try searching any of the corpses, even the skeletons that are white instead of skeleton that's red, this guy will attack you. One of the easy ways that I have found to destroy this Guardian of Faith without any real combat. Let's just hit him from here. So let's go ahead and put everybody in crouch mode, and I think that'll keep them from entering battle. Unless the, the Guardian was to see them. Yeah, only Tran is in battle, so he's the only one I'm going to have to intern on. This is the ceremonial battle axe. There's a ceremonial mace somewhere, but I don't quite remember where. I thought the He's coffin was it, everything. but apparently not. We are now ready to complete the puzzle, however. Looking at this will kind of give you clues as to who needs what weapon. This dude would need a sword. This guy needs a hammer. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Examine the image marked Dawnmaster Seed. The reconsecration of the monastery. Conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Seed Warhammer. Stockhold, we already figured out, is the mace. Inspect the broken stained glass window. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Let's go ahead and try putting together what we already know. This looks like hammers pointing at this one. Dawn Master Seed. Do I have a Warhammer? Yeah, here it is. Ceremonial Warhammer we just picked up from the Guardian. This one would probably be this one should be the mace. Stockholm. Dawn Master Stockholm. Stockholm, not Stockholm. We'll just slap a rusty mace down. I know there's a ceremonial mace somewhere here. Hmm, looks like any regular weapons I have work here too. Dawnmaster for Saeed. And we found a ceremonial battle axe, so that's process of elimination right there. We get the Morning Lord's Radiance, and as of the most recent patch, only applies this one time. Even if I were to pick it up and drop it again, it does not apply any further. I think it used to keep applying to people, so you can come back and get more. What Morning Lord's Radiance does is a pretty awesome ability. It gives you 1d4 radiant damage every, every weapon attack, whether it's bow or whatever. It's pretty awesome. I just wish it wasn't temporary. Also, I figured out why Karlak wasn't throwing. Apparently she's not with the party right now. So now that we are here, does this mean that she didn't get morning? Oh, she did. Okay, she did get morning Lord's Radiance. So in here, we'll find the Dawn Master's Crest and a note to the next Dawn Master. I don't think we're going to make it. Blood is secure. We close it off with magic. If anyone tries, the walls will fall and they won't get out of here alive. Should that happen, pray for monastery, but do not mourn. It's for the best. This blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? There is one last thing that we can take a look at. Let's head back over to where Karlak was. So there are those drunk lizards that the Blue Jay oh, talked to us about earlier. We're going to go ahead and encounter them, but before doing so, we will go ahead and open up the front door. That'll make our life a little bit easier when navigating. So this is where Karlak was stuck earlier. Wait for everybody to catch up. So that's a magic mouth. All it does is repeat the last announcement or something that they used. So it's, it, I guess it's supposed to be an epic moment, but these people have been long dead. Yeah. 
within the artifact a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Your teammates will have a lot of updates, so I'm going to go and chat with them and I'll keep the most interesting tidbits. I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. I'll admit this could be a terrible idea, but we don't have much choice. True. We're acting out of desperation. Let's just be careful. Any potential cure is useless if our heads are parted from our shoulders beforehand. They must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. It had better be worth it. She forgot to add that. It seems to be important to your mother superior. Yes. And she acts as Lady Shah's voice amongst mortals. She must be doing the Night Singer's bidding. I just don't know what it all means. All will be revealed in due time. I hope. What? What do you mean, too drunk? Awesome. <laughs> All right, this is the only other thing left. Many of these guys are drunk. This one sometimes dies. I guess if you take a long time to get here, he's dead. You'll note that they have an ability or condition called Fire Wine Belly. Drunk on Fire Wine has this advantage on Charisma and Dexterity checks. If a drunk entity is killed with fire, a Fire Wine Explosion occurs. Also, you'll hear that some of these barrels are burping and belching. They don't have any difference in weight, but they do have kobolds inside, and you can pick them up and carry them with you and release the kobolds at a later time. Let's go ahead and grab these kobolds. I'm just waiting. Most of them are asleep, but there's these two awake and these three awake. There are four caskets. I'm trying to remember which ones. Not all of them have kobolds inside. You just sort of have to listen. There's one right there. Okay, I see the other two. We'll send these to Lazel. And this leads basically ultimately to the, where the eagles are. Step carefully. I'm taking these fire wine barrels, which have cobalt inside. It amuses me. I want to try launching a fireball into the room and just see how large of an explosion we get. My knees are starting to ache. What's the story? I mean, that's a kind of a small fireball size there. I don't think it's going to make as awesome of a, as an explosion as I was hoping. Scorching Ray wouldn't do enough damage either. Oh, I did come up with calculations for Scorching Ray. As long as it's over about 70%, go ahead and do that over Magic Missile. 
Yeah, unfortunately this fireball is just going to be kind of weak sauce. Here's what we'll do then. Let's go ahead and have Lazel hop back down. Did she do it without getting damage? Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the Grish, Grish Yankee or whatever those cats things are. And we're going to set up a kill zone right here. Strength in silence. Shall we? Oh, he missed both shots, so nothing happened. Wow, what was the odds of me missing that? He had advantage. 88% chance to, for each attack. Apparently nobody noticed yet. Because normally there'd be a little pillar of light to indicate that someone has heard you. Just those two, this will be pretty simple. Let's get everyone in. And then we'll commence. Didn't even get to see really what was happening because the... This place reeks of alcohol. Let's watch my fire. The camera auto panned out and I think it got one of these cats in the way. So it looks like my... Uh, yeah, we managed to get this one to explode, which then hit this alcohol that our characters were standing in. She's still sneaking. That was short lived. Let's get Will Why over there. A wizard, not a cat burglar. Are these guys actually spread? Yes, they are. So this will give me a little bit of an opening. Anybody else? Lazel. That's why I had her jump up here earlier. And she's done with the quarter staff, so we'll use Hoppy. That's actually the name of this weapon. Hoppy, not the most elegant of weapons, the Warpick's cumbersome weight certainly allows it to be deadly in combat when wielded by a strong arm. Inexplicably, this one has a small rabbit carved into the handle. Revitalizing Strike. Smash into a foe, wounding them and healing your own injuries. On a hit, heal 1 to 6 hit points. You deal additional necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. I know she's not hurt at all, I just want to use these abilities. I knew full well that being this close would possibly cause me to get hurt. 
but I thought it'd be more interesting to be inside the room. Alright, so now you can actually throw... And there we go. I mean, that was totally unnecessary, because we already cleared the area without them. And if you search around, you'll find some food for your characters. Still alive, so that's progress. On a gift blade. At least they made it quick. The blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster, immortalized here for all to worship. So they kept the blood of Lathander here. No wonder it was looted. Let's take a look at these two real quick. I don't recall them being of any import. Supplies, yada yada, lots of valuable goods at the bottom of the base. Ooh, okay. As for the first one he found, shipment of valuables. Just more flavor text. I mean, it's good it has it, but I don't think it needs to take a large chunk of the video. We can enter through the front door, but that's what everybody does. Those stairs we were about to take is the front door. Since we have the Blue Jay's key, we could also have picked the door. But since we have the Blue Jay's key, why don't we enter from the back entrance? If not over, then through. You would normally climb your way down through all of this to get to this chest and then possibly but unlikely your first time through, possibly see that there's another door. While we wait for everybody to catch up, the way you would normally get here is you would climb this, this knotted roots down, hop your way across, find this chest. And then if you were either of keen eye, lucky with mouse cursor, or you're exiting out from the back entrance, you'd find this. It's actually very well hidden. I'm pointing it out to you now, so it might be obvious, but I probably wouldn't have known it was there if I didn't come across this for my rehearsal. I'm going to assume we're close enough for everybody to enter. 